Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys a dual run capacitor and how to test if it's good or not. First off, you do the visual test. So this is the capacitor that I was working on, uh, I was looking at. You can see all the terminals are rusted out. That's not the end of the world, but what I was looking at was, I'm going to bring it in close. You can see the top of it's got a slight bulge to it and there's a little bit of an oil substance around it. That's an indicator right there. If you see it oil like that, you got a bad capacitor. Um, that bulge, that's no good too. Um, it's, it's, if it's still working, it's probably going to need to be changed out fairly soon. Getting bees here. Sorry, I got bees buzzing around me. This is a brand new one, and you can see the difference in the tops. You know, obviously the terminals are real nice and shiny, but also how that top is like inset, and this one's bulged up. So right there, you can see, I wanted you guys to see the difference between the two. On a capacitor, you're going to have... Um, some lettering on top by the terminals. One will say fan or F, the other will say herm, and then one will say C. The C is for your common connection, herm goes to your compressor, F or fan is for your fan lead. So it's a dual capacitor handling both of those uh, pieces of equipment. Now when you're working with a capacitor you want to make sure that it's discharged so you don't get shocked by it. Um, there will be separate videos on how to do that. I'm not going to cover that right now. You can either do it with a screwdriver or with a resistor. But what I want to show you guys is how to test one. You set your meter to microfarads, which is MFD. Meter set to MFD. This capacitor here is a 45 plus 5 MFD plus or minus 5%. Show you guys there. So what that means is the one running to the compressor is probably going to be a 45 and the one that the fan is going to be a 5 I believe. We're going to find that out right now. So we're going to take a lead and we're going to touch one of our leads on our on our meter to the common and we'll touch the other one to the fan. My, reader, my meter is reading 4.9 so that's good to the fan. We'll do another one from the common to the compressor and my meter is reading just under 45 so that's how you test them if you get if you are doing that reading and it's out of whack a little bit it may still be running but then you know keep an eye on that because it's going to get ready to go so if it's kind of out of that plus or minus five percent range then you're going to need to uh, look at getting a new capacitor uh, they're not that expensive this one was around 50 bucks that was cash at a counter Air conditioning companies are going to get a discount, obviously, but that was just me walking in and getting one um, when it was around 50 bucks for this. And this is a uh, dual-run capacitor, again, because it handles two items. Also, just for safety, always remember to you want to uh, go ahead and make sure it's discharged before you're working with it so you don't get hurt.